So control D, we're gonna scooch that up. I'm just eyeballing this a little bit and then press shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D. Okay, we're at 52. Most students, they're gonna come through and they're like, ah, oh, that's such a boring deck of cards, right? Pay no attention to the white. It's my bad UV mapping. They're gonna come in here and they're just gonna rotate these, which is awesome. They're gonna take the time and do this thing. It's great. Watch this. <clears throat> so bonus tools. If you don't have bonus tools at the top of your screen, go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, down to Plugin Manager, search for bonus. Hit loaded, auto load, this should pop up. Now, this is super cool because we can grab all of our objects, go up to bonus tools, modify, and let's randomize transforms, but let's do advanced. We get this awesome little window. We're only focused currently on rotation. So if I were to pull this, X, Y, and Z is set to one. So this will rotate them kind of randomly based on this slider. So I'm going to say, all right, I want no rotation that way, no rotation that way. And now when I pull this, you can see it's just rotating along that axis. That's pretty cool. We can get an amount that we like, like maybe that. We'll just type in 2.5. I can press new seed to get different results using that value. So it's like, oh yes, I'm really digging that. A little bit of variation. You know what, let's bump it up to four. Okay, that is cool. We can also do translate. So if I were to pull this, right, these cards are way out here. That's not what we want. So let's set that one to zero. Actually, you know what, instead of that way, let's also do zero here because that's gonna be a side to side kind of thing like that. Awesome, let's do 0.5, way too much, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Okay, so now we have our deck of cards that just looks so much better just with a couple clicks with our randomizer, with our variations here, instead of doing that by hand. So pretty darn useful.